Maybe you guys will recognize some of these streets. If you watch my Kaylee Sevens videos. I'm not sure if he's home yet. I think he's going to leave. It's just a little bit before two. I think it's about five minutes before two. And he's going to leave college and come back to the house, but I'll give him a text and tell him I've arrived at the porch. It's real interesting when I was up in St. Mary's, Pennsylvania Rich and Maddie's, when I stopped in I left my lights on for about three hours as a matter of fact, so naturally ran the battery down. And then when we went to jump start it for some strange reason it would not take a jump start even when I pulled the side panels off and uh, went directly to the battery it just was not and I'm thinking dang that usually is a sign of a dead battery sucking a lot of juice and uh, come to find out the, the battery was in a uh, pretty bad shape but also as I was screwing around with it the connector on the positive side to the battery post totally snapped in two so we ended up having to run to Napa that thing I looked at it too and it looked like it had been it had two areas that were cracked in the center portion which was just a tiny amount okay where am I I gotta make sure and get the right driveway here might have even passed it goofing around and talking oh is, nope that's not it let's see I'm going to have to turn around here. I'm so busy talking, I missed it. So this uh, positive battery connector had been cracked in two places and only about a third of the area was actually making contact to even charge the battery. So in a way, I was kind of very fortunate that it did happen when it happened <laughs> because I had Rich there with all the tools and stuff to help me. And so I... Long story short, we put the battery on a smart charger and uh, found that it would only charge up to about 65%. So then I uh, had to go get another battery. So I've got a glass mat battery now. that one and uh, it's been holding up very good but yeah just because that connector ended up breaking it's not it either okay I'm gonna have to do it by the numbers for some reason The GPS thinks I've already arrived, so. <clears throat> I'm gonna get this all figured out. I'll talk to you guys later. Some witch's brew kind of concoction there. He's going to try to get me to drink some of this concoction. Yes. There you go. Now, what is this called again exactly? This is called. This is called Yangona, also known as Kava Kava. Kava Kava. And I'm going to try my first sample of Kava Kava. All right. Now, I want you to. Uh, slap your hand in your thigh one time. Okay. I can do that with one hand, so. Okay. All right. And then take that and drink the whole thing down. It's not a whole thing. Oh, the whole thing? Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Hold the camera. Yeah, I'll hold that for you. I'm not going to I'm not gonna promise I'm going to succeed at this. After a sip, I may give up. But... Mother! Slightly bitter water. Very slightly bitter water is what it tastes like to me. Excellent. Yep. 
It's pretty much what it tastes like. And it doesn't then, taste like dishwashing soap or it doesn't taste horrible. It's not. The back of your tongue will start to feel a little bit numb like you've taken chloroseptic. Mm. I haven't noticed yet. Yeah, yeah. It's, mm. it's been a while. Mm. Lift the ball. <laughs> excellent, excellent. So it's not too bad. No. All right. Actually, if I was really thirsty and didn't have regular water, I would probably drink it as a drink. So. All right. Now, what do I get for doing that? <laughs> <laughs> a nice. What I got was a nice meal out of the barbecue joint, and it was excellent. So. Yeah. Thanks to Mike for that. Well, and let's see. All right. So this is what they call vacasinai. Vacasinai. Didn't I just drink that? Well, this is for me. Oh, this is for you. Okay, let's. Let's get you doing. He's he's doing a big heaping. Look, look at the size of that there. Vacasina vavunga. All right. I'm getting a little bit of the cough medicine effect in the back of my throat, just at the sides. Yep. Just a yep. little bit like cough medicine. Yeah, yeah. so like you spray chloroseptic. Mm -hmm. in yeah, it is almost exactly the sensation of chloroseptic. Yeah. And that spreads through you if you mm -hmm. drink, well, it takes a lot. It builds mm -hmm. up in your system like THC. Yeah. And then if you drink it for a period of months. Like oh, so like day, I'm going to get the munchies tonight, I'm going to wake up and want to eat a lot of snacks? <laughs> it could be, it could be. Oh, okay. Um, it took me six months of drinking it every night for five, six hours a night before mm -hmm. I finally felt the full effects. And one night, I drank mm -hmm. it, and I get up to leave, and I put my foot out, and my, it's like my body didn't obey mm -hmm. the command. <laughs> it's like, it wasn't like somebody was tilting the room. It was like mm -hmm. somebody else was controlling my body. Mm -hmm. Although I felt totally normal, and I went to eat some rice, because in Fiji, you eat rice with your hands, and mm -hmm. I went like this. I took the rice in my hand, and I went... <laughs> Put it on all your... over my face. Uh, and my Abba turned to me and says, "Okay, you finish. Go home." <laughs> <laughs> so that's the story of Kava. Okay. So if anybody comes to visit, I always set them with some yangona, otherwise mm. known as Kava. Okay. With a nice mbilo and a nice tanwa. Inaka. Well, it was actually a nice experience. Yeah. Plenty more if you want. I got this nice mat. Actually, this this mat I I got from my towel. Like Tao is, uh, each village in Fiji has a rival village, and if you go to that village, uh, and you're not from there, you're from the other village, mm -hmm. then the people in that village can mess with you. Oh. They'll play jokes on you, they'll grab your butt, they'll <laughs> give you extra kava to drink. Yeah. But then when you go to leave, they, they give you these beautiful gifts. Mm. So, uh, my Taovu, this lady I used to work with, she used to give me crap all the time, just joke with me all the time. Mm -hmm. When I left Fiji, she gave me this as a nice gift. But there's another mat that I used to have. This is called an imbe, by the yeah. way. Um, this mat uh, was from that lady, but I had another one that had fuzzy uh, yarn on it. Mm -hmm. And this guy came to my house one night and just knocked on the door at 9 o'clock at night. So I answered the door like, uh, yes? And he says, Hey, uh, I was wondering if you would like to buy a mat. So I said, uh, how much? So he said, 20 bucks. So I gave him 20 bucks and he gave me a mat. And off he went. I thought, well, that was an odd thing. That never happened before in the middle of the jungle, you know. Mm -hmm. So then a half an hour goes by. He comes back, knocks on the door. He's got a whole case of beer, Fiji beer. Mm -hmm. He says, I was wondering if you would like to drink this with me. All right. So we sat down on my new mat, and I drank half of the beer that I bought for him. <laughs> and then he said, thank you, and went home. Never saw him again. Wow. Yep, yep, that's how Fiji is. They will buy, they will sell you something, and then give you back half your money by drinking with you. Mm. Yeah, they're awesome. Mm. Yeah.